Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I just want to give you a quick sneak peek of uh, my upcoming uh, GoRank GraphQL tutorial. So this one is the paid course uh, I'm doing present, uh, right now, and it's uh, currently in uh, pre-sale. So if you want to uh, uh, get it right now uh, with a lower cost, it's gonna uh, the link is gonna be in the description. So in this video, I just want to show you like kind of what the the stuff you're gonna see in the course, and so this can uh, help you to get an idea about if this is the kind of course you want to to get finally. And uh, here, uh, just remem remember, it's not complete yet. I have maybe like a forty percent done on the code I want to show. So, uh, but I at least gonna have a, a really quick uh, sneak peek. Plus, for those who have already bought the course, thank you uh, first, and also. Uh, you're going to have a lot and lot of new videos coming out. Uh, I've already uh, uh, registered some of them. And uh, I'm going to also redo some of the video because I get some comments from the uh, those who buy it and I have uh, some stuff to change. So I hope it's going to be better and you're going to learn a ton. And again, thank you again. So this tutorial, uh, I'm going to use a GQL gen. So I just want to show you like kind of the folder structure I'm using. So uh, the idea between... Uh, for the, the course is just to build finally a Twitter clone uh, using GQL gen for the GraphQL layer. And the way I handle everything, it's uh, we can have the uh, CMD folder with the server and some middleware. Also, I'm gonna show you how to use config, uh, config file and how to use a uh, .env and stuff like that. You're gonna learn all about that there. Also, one of my plan is to show you a lot of testing. So that's why, like if you open a lot of those folder, you're going to see a lot of testing, like uh, the UID stuff, GWT, and things like that. I have a lot and a lot of uh, testing. Also, I'm going to show you how you can, uh, inside your test, how to do like a table-driven uh, design testing. And also, I'm going to show you how you can mock. So that's why you see those mocks. Uh, files who are auto-generate by uh, uh, a library I'm using. And you're going to see it's going to be pretty nice. If you want to see the library I'm using, uh, I'm using GQL Gen, Scanny for the... Uh, PGX uh, scanner, it's kind of like a SQLX, but for PGX, I'm using Chai for the server. I'm using Golang Migrate, and also I'm gonna show you how you can use the Go, uh, 116 embed for the migration file. Also, I'm using Google UUID to do some uh, testing stuff, and you're gonna see all of that. Uh, I'm using here uh, PGX, like I just told you. I'm using GWX for the GWT, uh, um, finally, uh, <laughs> library and I'm using testify to help with the test so doing assertion with the testing and also I'm uh, you this is the all the stuff uh, I'm using and the most important one is a GQL gen but the idea with this course it's yes we build a GraphQL layer but I want to make it like the most abstract possible so you can almost take what I'm showing you there and just plug it to any kind of uh, HTTP and stuff like that. So example, if you look at the graph, it, like I said, it's not complete yet. We can have some tweet resolver. And if you look at the create tweet example, you're gonna see, you're gonna create a tweet with the tweet services. And the only thing you do is you check the error, you return the error and you map the tweet. And map the tweet is just because you get a tweet from our domain, but you need to transform it as a tweet from the GraphQL layer. So this way you make sure then if you go to the, uh, uh, rest and point with HTTP and whatever, or CLI, something like that. Uh, that's going to be really easy for you to just manage everything and do not have to redo all the logics. So this is what we do in the course. Also, uh, with that, you're going to see a lot of things. Example, if you want to see uh, uh, like uh, some of the testing, example, you have the uh, context testing. So you're going to see the, those kind of tests, example, here I want to test, I have a user ID from the context. So this is the kind of step, test we're going to write with the function we, we do have. And uh, those functions are really simple where you are finally managing the context. So it's pretty nice there. After that, we have the UUID layer. Finally, it's just because uh, we want to validate the UUID, but we use the UUID from Postgres himself. So it's yeah, it's pretty simple. For the Postgres, here it's everything you, uh, we need there. Here, right now, I do not have test. But it's the plan to put tests here and those tests are going to be end-to-end -end testing uh, because now we're going to need uh, to have uh, with the uh, database connection and stuff like that. So this is the kind of stuff I'm going to handle with that there. And also I'm thinking about maybe adding SQL mod, but I'm not quite sure if this is the thing I want to do. But right now this is what we have. We have, uh, so all the Postgres is going to be just some repository who is handling only the 
connection to a certain database, but those Postgres need to uh, uh, to um, finally follow the contract of server interface. So if you want to learn interface, I think this course is going to be pretty good because I'm using a lot of interface. Example, if you look here, I have a tweet services and I have a tweet repo. So the tweet services is the layer, layer we're using. So you can use it from the HTTP or the GraphQL layer. But the tweet repo here is the layer on top of whatever database in memory or whatever you're going to uh, process your data. So here, I think it's pretty nice. And uh, after that, that's why like doing those interface, it's really easy to mock. So you can do a lot of uh, 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 unit tests and whatever. And uh, we have some validate functions, sanitize and whatever. This is the kind of stuff you're going to learn. Plus, if you look here in the tweet test, sorry, I don't know why my file is all scrolling down. You're going to do testing for the sanitize with t uh, table driven uh, testing. And also you're going to test uh, uh, a lot of the thing with the domain. So here the domain, it's whatever... It's the layer between all the logic we have to the example repo. And this is the thing uh, your GraphQL or HTTP layer can call. So example, if you look here in the um, in the domain, example, if you want to check for the uh, tweet, example, we have the creation of the tweet. So here, this is the kind of stuff where we're going to create a user. We're going to check if the user is authenticated. We're going to sanitize. We're going to validate. We're going to create our tweet and stuff like that, getting the error. Don't worry if you want to, you're going to learn about transaction, Postgres transaction, but all the transaction is managed from the repo side. And if you look at this here and you look at your test, now you can check example. I'm going to show you the create one example, the create one. This is the kind of stuff we're going to have. We're going to do some testing and we're going to use the mocking library I'm using uh, with the testify stuff. And this one, we're going to uh, mock example here, the create method of the uh, tweet repo. And we're going to return the fake tweet and we can manage that. And with the testifier, we can require those kind of error and see if everything is working. And we're going to check the assertion and assertion and see if everything is working. So it's pretty nice there, I think. Uh, like I like I told you in one of my uh, other video and also in the course uh, description, it's uh, this is the kind of tutorial I would like to have when I start learning Go. And it's not because I think what, I, what everything I'm doing here is the best practice, but I just think it's a lot of practice. So what I mean by that is I'm going to just give you the tool you need to be able to maybe build your project, but don't get lost in the process and doing all the search I need to do. I'm coming from uh, the first uh, big framework I've learned was Rails. And when you came to, uh, after that, I go to Node and stuff like that. But the thing is, so many way of doing thing you do not have any kind of convention and stuff like that and this is kind of a pain but in same time it's nice because you have the freedom of doing whatever you want so it's a kind of a uh, it's kind of a it's an issue in same time but it's good in same time so this is the kind of stuff you're gonna learn i hope this is a course a lot of uh, of you gonna want to see and for those who ask, uh, yes, but uh, are you going to still doing some YouTube video on Golang and stuff like that? Yes, do not worry about that. My plan is just to make my big tutorial as a paid course because now I have a family of two child and stuff like that. But all the smaller video like you've seen in two weeks ago, the interface one, it's the plan of doing those kind of tutorial here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any kind of question, don't hesitate to chat with me on the comments here or um, you can hit me on my Discord channel, uh, channel also. No worry about that. And again, if you want to see the core, the link in the description, it's still, uh, uh, it's still, um, uh, 20 off because it's still on a uh, pre-sale. And uh, my plan is doing three videos a week. The reason why I didn't do the last week is because, like I told you, I just redo the video and I just wait before all of them are done to uh, finally replace, uh, the one I have right now. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, this video. I hope this help you to maybe make a choice if you want to get the course. Like I say, I think if you are expert in Golang, don't buy the course. I'm not going to teach you nothing at all. But if you are someone who is kind of like beginner, intermediate or something like that, is the course for you, I think. So I hope you enjoy and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Bye.